welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to share, sorry for the glare, I'm going to share how I use my happy planner for memory keeping. Um, I'm not really a big planner. I don't, you know, plan ahead because I've noticed every time I do that, things don't work out. And then I've already written it down in my in my planner and I don't like that. So I like to memory keep in it. So I will put in information into my happy planner when it had already happened. So then I can memory keep that and put it in here. Um, so it's basically my journal. It's really, I don't really use it for planning ahead. I use it to memory keep for each day, every week, every month, you know, and I'll put down, the only thing that I do put in here would be birthdays is what I put in ahead of the time and ahead of time. So I just wanted to share how I do that and how I, um, you know, use my computer to print out the stuff I put into my planner. So on here, as you can see, I use scrapbook paper. And what I did was I created a template in my word on windows and I created the boxes to be the same size, actually a tiny bit smaller than what they are here and I'll go ahead and print it out and then I would put my scrapbook paper and um, stick it on there with um, temporary adhesive so then after it's printed out I will go ahead and cut them up and stick them down permanently into my planner so I like that and it looks nice and neat and I can use whatever paper so you know instead of just printing it on regular old paper or writing it in you can use all that pretty scrapbook paper that you have so I'm just gonna flip through the month of March and show you how I did my memory keeping in here as you can see I did some stamping I also put scrapbook paper okay I also did this one with all you know I didn't I wanted it pretty much all pink and then I used this paper from Hobby Lobby and the roll and I just cut it up to size and then this one here I just kind of did in different colors and I like the fact that you can print it out and it's nice and neat you know I mean sometimes my writing can be neat and sometimes it's not but I like it to be all uniform have a neat look and then you know whatever I don't spaces I don't use I will go ahead and put scrapbook paper in so I like the fact that it's it's you can color coordinate it you can do it whatever way you want okay so yeah so this is my month of March all done and I'll leave some notes here what bills I paid you know stuff like that so then I can uh, put that in there once I'm ready to you know go onto my computer and write those in type those in and then cut them out um, sometimes I will do it every couple days Sometimes I will do it once a week, but I will keep a piece of um, scrapbook, uh, not scrapbook paper, just scratch paper to write down my daily activities so that I remember what it is that I did that day and I can go ahead and later on go ahead and type them out on my computer, which I create. This is only part of the sheet because I've already used it, but I would go ahead and type it out onto my template, which these are already at the correct measurements of these boxes here which is actually one and a half by two and a half so you can either print it on you know computer paper or you can just cut a, a piece of scrapbook paper at eight and a half by eleven and go ahead and send that through your printer as well okay but this one here since it is smaller you know instead of wasting a lot of paper I went ahead and just cut it to the size of this whole box here or if I had just one line I would just cover this part here and then send it through my printer but at least I have these templates saved on my computer so that I can use it to go ahead and type up my daily activities instead of writing them in and I really like it I've been doing it for quite some time and I really enjoy it so I've already went ahead and did May for like birthdays and stuff like that so you can do that um, you know I have some June I have some July already and it's so cool because you can put it on any scrapbook paper you know and it will look perfect every time okay guys so I hope this get, inspires you to try, give this a try 
you know you can use it you can use it either way you can use it to plan ahead or you can use it for memory keeping it doesn't really matter but if you want your uh, planner to be nice and neat you know and not have to write and you want everything pretty much looking uniform I would go ahead and create some templates on the word document under graphs and if you guys aren't too familiar with that what I can do is um, if you're interested in the template um, that I created I could always email it to you just leave a comment below if you have this happy planner and you have the boxes like this which are one and a half by two and a half and I believe these are one and a half by one and a half I could always send it to you you know by email you know I don't have a way to do like PDF style you know um, stuff but I can individually email it to you guys if you guys are interested in the word document and you can go ahead and give it a try I can do that so yeah I hope you guys found this informative and another way to create into your happy planners um, use it for memory keeping or your daily activities that you need to remember you can use that as well it just comes out really pretty you know I think so you can do it on scrapbook paper as well to give it a different background okay guys I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for joining me today I hope you have a wonderful week bye bye